Hey guys, how's it going? Campy here, and welcome back to Danganronpa. We're going to continue where we left off. We just found Sayaka dead. Um, when I opened my eyes, it was the ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah! Ah, you're awake, finally. How are you? <clears throat> Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Um... You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well... It's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? Um... Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevo irre irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What? what do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym like the, at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she was really gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested to it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Ayaka had to pay, but so I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that! If you can believe anything, you can believe that! <laughs> He's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bare time one rule. But, but... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you! Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? <laughs> One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong! Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If I wanted to, if they wanted to, the one who did it could testify that to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um, uh, are you serious? What, what someone, is this? Someone killed someone? <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like com to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cause. <laughs> naive. You're so naive. You think it's really that easy? You could just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey! You're super come naive. Devish, devishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However,. Even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations? 
If you are the blackened that committed the murder, and you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not just enough to kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So a certain amount of time after the murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yep, it will begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the Blacken who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The red, however, oh, sorry, if guys. you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply, what? it's execution. Yeah. Execution? What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, to make sure I understand... If we get the culprit right away, they only... Then only they die, but if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well, what a smart on. little in chimpanzee you are! Look at you, implying you didn't... Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system, or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be adding... You'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add a rule. I, let me add. Just add the rule I just described in your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Hey! Wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking You're freaking about? insane, you know that? Huh? Huh? What the? The class trial. What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do you, I waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? what? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking what? about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might. I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish! It. Stop it! You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. You will stand in here before me. I'm trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't give in to such evil. It's not my style to stick out and resist till the very end. And if you really want to get out of here, ah! you'll have to get through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us. Although it was more of a waddle. And then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! Yeah, she's... You violated a school she's regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! Oh my god. It's sad because she's my favorite character. <laughs> This wasn't supposed to... Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What the... I don't... This can't be real. Well now. Now, I am painfully aware of a great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. Yeah. I guess we all need to be taught a lesson after all. 
<laughs> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Junko's body was had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the amount, the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there can deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than, it, than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventful end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality! Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time. Or are you trying to be metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Yeah, Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you and to help you in your search for the blossom. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it... It's the Monokuma file! Hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't any aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. Got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the class, during the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make a proper decision, but somehow comforting. Well? Now then. Please put your, all your effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us as stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder and right in front of us. And for those, and for who knows how long, nobody said a word. In fact, the fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more into that. More to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd find ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was just the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a pervasively terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey, now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result of having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about it and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that just, is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't it up will die. Death is the only thing awaiting for those who are incapable and unwilling to adapt. <laughs> and if that happens to you, you can only blame... You only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run around. We can't run away from this situation. So we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it. Let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it as a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right, we just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. 
that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka, ha Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd be able to accept her. I knew I'd never be able to accept her death, which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. All right, let's talk to Kyoko. Hey. Before we start searching Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you need? Hmm. You're thinking about putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy any evidence, we're pretty sure we'd pretty much be screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who, who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, that's the first thing you would do. By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. <laughs> Fuck you! So then... Fine, then I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op defense space with two of them? But their stats totally OP. Huh. Since we won't be able to help with the investigation, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in the movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. I think they would be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait just a second. She's dead? Then that means... That means everything that happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Hell no. Someone save me. Let me out of here. Somebody help me. What's your problem? You just now accepting that? Yes. Yes, he is. Anyway. We're going to find out who the killer is. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. Who else are we supposed to talk to? Are we supposed to... Can we leave? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you finally really noticed. What the crap? Huh? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the Mona Kuno Kuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in the Koto's dorm. Ah! What? She's right! <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second, you got it all wrong. Just for one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? You tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had, gone had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation as soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We have to collect all clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have any more to say? Perhaps you need... I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone pray, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. Whatever son of a bitch is it did this here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence. You're they better not dead. let me find him. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck him up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and, he and Sakura ran off. I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway! We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is it was very you. suspicious. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> don't come any closer. Are you gonna kill me next? So well, I guess I'm... it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not just for mo for Makoto's guilt. It's not, I'm not sure. Wait, it's not sure um. that Makoto's guilty yet. 
That's true, we may as well at least check, just to check. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone is expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. W wait, don't go yet. You'll have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had left. And with their parting looks at me had been and their parting looks at me had been filled with suspicion. Does everyone think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to expect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution. Execution. Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Alright, it is time to start our investigation. I guess I should take a look through the Koma Monokuma file before we... We got. The victim was Sayaka Mozono. The time of death was estimated around 1.30am. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth. So that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Right, so we've got that. Alright, can we leave here? Okay, so... I know who did it, because I have already watched this series, unfortunately. I know who did it. So, what I want you guys to do, first of all, I should head to the scene of the crime in my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So, so I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse still remained. So I want you guys to guess down in the comments below who you think did it. I'm not going to give it away, I'm not going to spoil anything, I promise. Alright, so let's look at all this stuff. This is the replica sword I bought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? It's been taken out of the sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade until itself now. Shouldn't- okay. Some of the gold coating has come off the parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of the co coating. I remember the coating sticking to you even if you just touched it a little bit. So right now we're collecting evidence. Like I said, I want you guys to guess down in the comments below who killed Sayaka. This is the replica sword. Okay, there are scratches on the sheath. I'm not going to read everything in this little part because I am really tired. So there are scratches on this sheath of the replica sword. There are scratches on the wall. Evidence of a struggle. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps that was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal set, ideal setting for murder. Okay, so that's been added. Um, is this evidence or no? No. Okay. Let's. Uh, let me talk to Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? No, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of the room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she was doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Oops, sorry guys, I clicked off screen. Um, I guess let's go in the bathroom. I should look around here first. I can 
check other spots later. Okay, well, what else is there? I guess I'll talk to Sakura. Do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether it is or not. Whether or not it mm. you did this. Whatever decision the rest come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Stop to Mondo, whose hair I cannot stand. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. You son of a bitch! Dirty bastard. Dude, anyone who raises their hand to a woman is, is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. If, I find, if I ever find that son of a bitch who did this, I'll get a pounded goddamn face in. But what if it's a girl that did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Okay, is there anything else in here? What is this here? This is a display stand that the sword is on. Okay. Can we talk to Kyoko again? Hey, Kyoko. Okay, I've already seen all this. What isn't it obvious? I'm so sorry. Did you lose it? Okay, can we search the bathroom now? Maybe I should look around. I've already looked around here, and I keep clicking off screen. Notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Oh, my key is on the ground. That's what I. Okay. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We ain't exactly in the room for building furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then. What? Not just me. What? Not in. Not uh, nobody's left it theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we do that? Okay, so nobody's opened their toolkit. Interesting. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. It must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Yeah, they switched, uh, they traded keys. When we switch rooms, we, we switch keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key to my room. Wait, that's true then. How did the killer get in the room in the first place? Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, it, that seems impossible. No, because she said she wouldn't, because... Yeah, she, and she also said she wouldn't open the door. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it, or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere, and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switch rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so it, she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Can we pick up our key? Or... Okay, so... Now can we check the bathroom? I... Mm. Oh, there's marks on the floor here. It looks like there must be some kind of fight in my room. Mm. I've already looked around everywhere. I thought I looked at everything. Oh wait, can we look at the splint roller here? Okay, there we go. Huh, looking at the roller, it looks like it was... There's way less than it was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Alright, can we talk to Kyoko now? Because I think that that has something to do with what Kyoko was doing. Hey, Kyoko. Ser seriously? What isn't it? I'm so Did you? Okay, here we go. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up and said, Listen, are you a clean freak? Uh, no, I don't think so, but what? Not even just glance around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from one corner to another. I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one here from the victim, not one here from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. 
Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. So, was it Sayaka or the killer? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness. Okay. Is that everything? Can we look around? Can we, like, go now? Oh, the trash can here. Knocked over. Already looked at this. Sorry, guys, for the repetitive, uh, stuff. Okay, can we now go in the bathroom? Bathroom. Okay, on the other side of this door. No, I can't just let it- I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up right now. Forcing myself to push the panic down, I step into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome by dizziness, nausea, and the burst- I urged to burst into tears. But I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But th that thought held me up and supported me. Alright. Let's investigate in here. I looked, I looked past Sayaka on the wall behind her. And there I saw... What's this? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? I told myself simply, I simply couldn't face it, what I saw, but now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the monokun in the file to verify what was said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the monokun file, Sayaka's right wrist was broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, for that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist. Right there where her wrist is all swollen, there's some glittery, something glittery that just definitely concerns me. Sorry I can't read, guys. I'm like really exhausted. I'm trying not to fall asleep while recording. There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Stabbed wound to her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, it must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist have gotten broken after she'd been already killed? So, that's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After the killer cornered her in the bath, after that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom and they inflicted the deadly wound. Alright, I think that's everything in here. It looks like you found it. Right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. I've seen something written in blood before. It, was it really her final message? It's actually it's if she wrote it with life. It's right. as if she wrote it with life herself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? The number she wrote. What did I mean? 11037? I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were writing something in that position, do you think, do you know what the result would be? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Lakota. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you will remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obviously, it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message. That's been added to the truth bullets. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know about how the door of your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame, frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. 
Huh? The broken doorknob. That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see it right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? Doorknob. What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obviously it, it's obvious it wasn't intentional. What? It was intentional? Oh, it wasn't. Why would someone do, want to do that? So I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought, and apparently stuck, struck with a sudden realization. She shot a question at me. Just a second. I have one more question for you. I mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Um, well, I did tell Sayaka last night when we searched the room. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm hmm? Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also I should look at the, into the DVD Sayaka got. The Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks and they'll, if they'll talk to me, that is. Okay, I think we're going to check out... We're gonna check out the DVD and then I'm gonna leave that episode there and continue the investigation in the next- wait, what? Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. Whoa, somebody switched the... The nameplates, they've been, they've been switched. Why would anyone do that? Okay, so the nameplates were switched. Nice. Okay, can we go in here? Because I think that that DVD was in the trash can of Sayaka's room. Alright. Let's go out to the AV room. And then we're gonna end the episode after we watch that and um whoa, we are just in Biakia for a moment. I think the AV room is through here. And then we'll continue the investigation in the next episode. Cause like I said, I'm very exhausted and I'm trying not to fall asleep. Also, I think you guys are gonna start getting these episodes uh twice a week. Possibly, depending on uh, when I can record them. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... And an image, an image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was the face I recognized all too well. Sayaka? She was there, all along with friends she had had she'd said been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. The vision started to blur and darken, and then the voice had come to despise so much began to float out of the speaker. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly the screen went dark, and then in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> Sayaka had disappeared from the stage which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. 
for Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get them to? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Alright guys, so that is where we are going to end the episode. Um, I hope that you guys have been enjoying this. Like I said, it's starting to pick up from now. And uh, all that fun stuff. And I'm sorry that I'm really tired and I can't record anymore. My voice is kind of going out on me. I don't really feel the best. But I love this game and I wanted to get some stuff done this weekend before I start the work week. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you Bambi Coins later. Goodbye!